Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to pair your Apple Pencil with your iPad Pro. So this will cover all of the models of the iPad Pro. However, depending on which model you have, the tutorial will be separate. So just check the timestamps in the description. The first half of this tutorial will cover the iPad Pro 2018 and newer. To check if you have that device, just check your bezels and see are the bezel size in the vertical axes the exact same width as the horizontal axes if that's the case also make sure that on one of the sides you have this black bar right here so just make sure obviously you're on the right orientation because if you look at the other side you just see a microphone grill just make sure somewhere there is this black bar if you have that black bar if you have those bezels that means that you can continue watching this part of the tutorial otherwise if you have the older ipad pro models make sure to check the timestamp in the description to uh, pair your apple pencil with the older ipad pro models so let's start off with the newer models and first of all we will need the apple pencil second generation for this guide so if you don't have the apple pencil second generation but you have the first generation um you can tell by i mean have a look so this is the second gen this is the first gen you can see there is this uh this flat area then the rest is curved if your apple pencil is just fully curved you will need to either return this apple pencil if you bought the wrong one by accident and get the apple pencil second generation this is because this flat edge means that we can just plop the apple pencil on to the top of the black bar so once we do this you're going to see it's going to say apple pencil and boom just like that it's connected now i'm going to show you some tips and tricks with the apple pencil second generation a little bit of troubleshooting make sure that you plop the apple pencil on the right side where there is you can see the black bar because the apple pencil will not connect so if you put it on the wrong side right here it's not going to connect just make sure you are on the right side and it should connect boom just like that so what are some tips well first of all once we have the apple pencil of course we can control the ipad and also if we go to search we can write in the search bar so you can see i wrote hello i did it really horribly because you can see it didn't really spell but you can uh, use the apple pencil to uh, fill in search fields as well Another thing you can do is if you swipe up from the bottom right, you can take a screenshot of your iPad. This works in any application, anywhere on your iPad. It's either the bottom right or the bottom left. Just swipe up diagonally and then you can do that. Another thing as well is we can annotate our pictures. So you can see, boom, when you have this field right here, you can just annotate no issues. And another trick with annotation is if you double tap, you watch, watch my finger, I double tap, and you can see the tool I used changes. So it changed to the eraser. And now I can erase this if I double tap back. Now I'm doing the brush, double tap again, and I'm doing the eraser. Now the double tap isn't, you know, the most accurate in the world, but it does work. You know, you have to get a feel of, you know, using it. And then once you do it, then you can uh, easily double tap and uh, erase stuff. So that's how to pair the iPad Pro 2018 and newer uh, to the Apple Pencil. Of course, you will need the Apple Pencil second generation. Now let's move over to the older iPad Pro models. How do we pair the older iPad Pro models to the Apple Pencil? All right, so first of all, you will need to check your Apple Pencil model and make sure you have the Apple Pencil first generation. So you can see the bottom here, this is the Apple Pencil second generation. It's curved everywhere, but one side is completely flat with the Apple Pencil uh, logo. If you have this Apple Pencil, you will not be able to pair it to your older iPad Pro model. You will need to either return this or sell it and buy the Apple Pencil first generation. The first generation is completely curved. There's no like flat edges and the tip right here pops out. And when it pops out, you can see we have right here, I don't think the camera will focus, but we actually have a lightning port. So here's what we're gonna do in order to pair our Apple Pencil to our older iPad Pro. I want you to open up settings, find Bluetooth, and I want you on the Bluetooth settings, you want to plug in your Apple Pencil to the side of the iPad. And then once you do this, we should wait for a little bit. And you can see Bluetooth pairing request, Apple Pencil would like to pair with your iPad. Just tap on pair. And once you've done this, your Apple Pencil has been successfully connected to your older iPad. So once we've done this, we can you know, control our iPad with the Apple Pencil. So you can see, boom, all that good stuff. Now I'm running iPadOS 13. So the gestures I'll be showing you do not work for me. However, if you're running iPadOS 14 and newer, here's some gestures which you can do, which are pretty cool. So you can swipe up from the bottom uh, right 
or the bottom left in order to activate a screenshot. And once you do this, you can actually annotate the screenshot as well. Now, unfortunately, the Apple Pencil first generation doesn't have the double tap feature, but if you double tap the Apple Pencil, it switches between uh, the drawing tool and the eraser tool. So that's just one thing you have to keep in mind. You have to manually tap on uh, both of those. But another thing as well is if you're on iPadOS 14 and newer, you can just draw in the search bars and it will actually uh, do those searches. So if I just, you know, draw out hello, it will put in a search bar hello. Obviously, it's not the most accurate, but it's another thing to keep in mind. As well, you can also uh, control uh, your iPad screen with the Apple Pencil. Finally, the Apple Pencil first generation doesn't automatically charge. With the second gen, you just plop it on the top of your iPad, you leave it there, and it just automatically charges. With the first generation, this uh, Apple Pencil will eventually run out of battery, and then it will stop working. So what I recommend you do is on the home page, you add this batteries widget. It's the widget made by Apple, right? If you don't know how to add widgets, just long press on any application until you're brought to wiggle mode. And then there should be a plus button. Tap on that plus button, find the batteries widget and add it to your home screen. Once you've done this, you should be able to see the battery on your Apple Pencil. And when it goes low, all you need to do in order to charge it is just plug the Apple Pencil and you should be able to see Apple Pencil is charging right there. And of course, when it's 100%, you can unplug it. If plugging in your Apple Pencil is inconvenient, I mean, it does look a bit weird to say the very least, what you can do as well is in the Apple Pencil box, there is an adapter. Now, this adapter converts this lightning in to lightning out. Now, what is important about lightning out? Well, when you have lightning out, you can actually charge the Apple Pencil using your iPad charger. So that's pretty darn cool. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe for brand new. See you guys later. Bye bye.